I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. The morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Alright, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm pretty damn excited. We're going to look at the myth, the legend, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald has got to be one of the names that has come up on my comment section requesting me to react to him the most. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, I don't know why. I, I Honestly, I, I have no idea why I haven't reacted to him. Probably because he plays for the Cardinals. I mean, I don't really know a lot about the Cardinals. I don't know who the, the quarterback is. I don't know... I know who the running back is because it's Adrian Peterson. He's one of my favorite players. Now, Larry Fitzgerald is number 60 on the list. He's, he's, he's a wide receiver, which excites me. Um, and we're, we're, just, we're not going to do too much research. We're just going to get into it. This is all about hearing what his fellow players think of him. And that is interesting. And that's why people love this series. And that's why I love this series. So let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is He was even able to speak at um, Senator McCain's funeral. Many people might wonder what a young African-American kid from Minnesota and a highly decorated Vietnam War hero turned United States Senator might have in common. Well, I, I, I thought of a few. I'm black. He was white. <laughs> I'm young. He wasn't so young. He lived with physical limitations brought on by war. I'm a professional athlete. He ran for president. I run out of bounds. So just what he means, um, I mean, to our nation and to the state of Arizona, um, wow. I think a lot of people appreciate Fitz. Once again, shivers. Shivers, bro. Came in at number 27 last year. Bit of a drop. In fact, there's, man, there's, honestly, there hasn't, I don't think there's been one player that I've seen so far that has actually gone up on the list. So we've got loads of players that have been up in the top 50 that have come down to the bottom 50. Who's going to be in that top 50 this year, man? I cannot wait to see. Larry Fitzgerald. 1983. To be honest, he spoke really, really well. I was bloody impressed. Um, 35 years old. Six foot three, 100 kilos. Holy, no wonder he's a treasure to Arizona. He's been at the Cardinals since 2004. He went the third round of the, he went the third pick of the first round in the 2004 draft. He's made 11 Pro Bowl teams. His last one being in 2017. He didn't make it last year. Oh my God, can you imagine trying to read all this? There's a story for every single season. He finished the season last year as the Cardinals' leading receiver with 69 receptions for a career low 734 yards with six receiving touchdowns. On January 23rd, 2019, he announced he would return for the 2019 season and signed a one-year contract extension with the Cardinals. Look at that, 234 games. 234 games as a receiver. 16,279 yards. 116 touchdowns, 12 fumbles in his entire career. He's an Arizona legend. Legend. Um, someone I watched uh, since since the Pittsburgh days. Larry Fitzgerald has I'll played take that. 15 seasons with the Arizona Cardinals. Even with his quarterback situation the last couple of years, he's still been productive. And Larry Fitzgerald, Hall of Famer. Oh! <laughs> that, that defender. And Larry Fitzgerald. Look at how this defender comes in. How are you going in, bruh? You're going in head and shoulder first. You, the defender definitely comes out second best. Watch this shit, man. The last couple of years, he's still been productive. And Larry Fitzgerald. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Fitzgerald ranks third all time in receptions, averaging 86 per season, second most in NFL history. See, he's getting up there and he, he's like a Kobe Bryant. He's like a Dwayne Wade. Um, you know, he's going to be in the top 10 for stats in his position. He's played 15 years. He actually, yeah, Dwayne Wade would probably be a good analogy, to be honest. Not the best, best, definitely up there. still playing, so being able to see how consistent he is when he's out there on the field, doing the same things that he did. Oh, fuck. I thought, where's the, mate, where's the step? Where's the right foot, left foot step? No, there ain't no step. He's going straight through. Be that type of Hall of Fame caliber player. Damn. That's what makes him really good. This is Fitzgerald's ninth consecutive appearance. Oh, look at that. For anyone can... I don't think I've ever seen an overhand pass from the quarterback backwards until this one. <laughs> to be that type of Hall of Fame caliber player, I think that's what makes him really good. This is no, Fitzgerald's never seen that. Consecutive appearance on the top 100. For anyone counting, that's all the seasons this show has been on. Wow. It's clear he has the respect of his peers. What did they say? This is Fitzgerald's ninth consecutive appearance on the top 100. Ninth consecutive appearance. For anyone counting, absolute all the legend. This show has been on. Absolute legend. It's clear he has the respect of his peers. He's one of those players who just pays attention, really loves the game, love the players. Just one of those guys, you know, you always looked up to. And uh, after the game, we went up to him this past year and uh, said, What's up to him? Say, What's up, Larry? And, you know, What's up, Robert? How you doing, man? Love your game. He's one of those guys you, you know, watch his highlights, you watch his stats, you watch him on YouTube, you watch him on film. And when these guys know your name, uh, future Hall of Famer legends like that, I think that's a big thing. Of course it is, man. It's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. All right. Holy shit, what do we got here? Oh, gee. Not an original gangster. I think they mean offensive guard. Which means right in the middle, next to the center. We're talking about the biggest, least mobile guys in the field, I would assume. That brings us to the end of another Top 100 reaction. That was Larry Fitzgerald. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I can't wait to see him play again at age 36 this year. Have there ever been any... 40 year old receivers or 40 year old running backs. I think the closest to that must have to be Adrian Peterson. And does he play on the same team? If he is on the same team, <laughs> the Cardinals must have the, the oldest wide receiver running back combination in the league ever. American football running back, 34. Okay, for the Redskins. Ah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> No, Griffin 3. Okay. Peterson doesn't play for the uh, Cardinals. He plays for the Redskins. There I go again, getting confused. Alright guys, next one, Zach Martin. For the Cowboys. Oh, I have to get my Cowboys top again. I'll see you soon guys. If you've liked the video, hit the like button. Helps out a huge amount for my morale, for my self-confidence, but also for the YouTube algorithm. If you want to subscribe, please do. We're going to try and get to 200,000 subs this year, with your help, of course, because without you guys, this channel is nothing. And on that note, I want to bid you farewell, have a fantastic night, 